Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Fast API. Today we are going to fix one of the issue that is Fast API app dot on even decorated is depreciated. If I go to my code, here you can see that. Let me go to my code and here I'm just adding in my code and here you can see that on event. If I click on that, the method on event in the class Fast API is depreciated. On event is depreciated. Use the lifespan event handlers instead. Read about from more from there, right? So this is depreciated. So how you can overcome this? We are going to learn in this video. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share, and comment on my video. Let's get started. So the depreciation warning for the on event method in the fast API suggests that it's better to use the lifespan event. So we have what we have to use lifespan event handlers. That what it said in here. Here you can see lives use lifespan event handlers instead, right? So we have to use that one. Fast API has introduced a more standardized way to handle the startup and the shutdown events using the lifespan context, which provides a cleaner and the more consistent, consistent approach. So how we are going to this is this is our old approach where we are using like a app on event startup. And here you have to just add your logic over there. Currently here you can see that if I go over here, fast API on event definition on startup, what I have done. Just create this function, call this function, right? So this is on startup, right? So here you can see that here you are writing some of the code. So this is old method, right? So this is depreciated. What we have to use? You have to use the lifespan methods so updated with the lifespan methods. So here we go with this one. So what we have to import that is context lib from the context lib async context manager you have to use okay at the rate xsync context manager then you have to define the lifespan app fast api whatever you want to app start app is starting up so you have to do like this yield and whenever you try to shut it down and call this method okay fast api lifespan right so lifespan context manager lifespan function is used now as a context manager where you can place the code for both startup and the shutdown event so whenever you want to make the shutdown on startup so you have to use like this the it yields control back to the application in between the startup and the shutdown more flexible this method is more flexible and aligns with the python's native context management patterns making it easier to manage the resources so I have updated this code with like this control Z this and uh, here we go with like this. So here we can async con context manager and this is application over here. This is your import. OK, and then like, before the startup, I have just created this event. Then it'll perform the shutdown if you need it optional and then call this fast API lifespan. Right. So this will fix that issue and the code will run properly. OK, so this is how. We can fix that one. Any doubt, any query in that, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.